Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best settings to use with FSR 3 frame generation for both driver settings and in-game settings. So I should preface that I have tested this very extensively for the past 16 hours. I've been experimenting with different combinations of settings, recording videos, sewing them down. So at this current point in time, I probably have more experience with this than anyone else. I know that won't be true forever, but I've put in a lot of work into trying to see what the most optimal way to use this is. So I'm going to start with the driver settings first. Now I am on an AMD GPU, but if you're an NVIDIA user, um, your control panel should have similar options and it will probably give the same results, but I don't know. I can't test it. You're going to want enhanced sync disabled, wait for vertical refresh always on and anti-lag is a bit tricky. If you have anti-lag plus, cause you have an RX 7,000 GPU then keep it on, but if you don't have anti like plus, just the normal one, keep it disabled. Next thing you're going to want to do is cap your frame rate, either using Radeon Chill or RTSS, a few beneath your refresh rate. So if you have 144 hertz, cap it at 138, then you're going to want to go in game, and you're going to want to disable VSync in game. And what that will do is it'll give you the smoothest experience possible. You know, now I do have to say, and this isn't related to the settings I'm su suggesting, it's just a flaw with the technology, is that, you know, this looks pretty choppy because it's only like 66 FPS. And this does look smoother at 120. However, it doesn't actually look perfectly like the real 120. Like if I, like if I were to actually get 120 FPS, it would look a little bit smoother. But that's not a problem with the settings. It's just, you know, a limitation with the technology. So it doesn't look exactly or feel exactly like the the output frame rate if you could actually get it by just getting a more powerful card. But yeah, this is the best experience I've had with this so far, and I would say it makes it very usable. Either way, if you appreciate these settings, if it helped you out at all, please give some kudos so other people can find this video. And uh, with that being said, peace out.